Welcome to Dorset. Today we're at Lake Pier and we're here for sunrise. Great to see you all again, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. We're at Lake Pier today, down in Paul Harbour in Dorset, and we've got a beautiful, still, calm morning. It looks absolutely fantastic out there, and we've got a nice big gap where the sun's gonna come up. And just behind me, we've got lots and lots of big, menacing clouds, so it's looking really, really good. If we don't get a nice sunrise from this side, hopefully, as the sun comes up, it's gonna catch on these clouds just behind. So we're gonna get two potential shots here, and uh, hopefully two goes at the same shot, if you like. So uh, looking really, really good. It's absolutely great to be out again. It's been such a long time since I've been able to get out, but this is just a couple of minutes down the road from my place. And it's my go-to venue when it's looking a little bit good. You know what it's like when you get those conditions where you didn't bother going out, didn't look particularly excited, then all of a sudden, bang, it changes. I hope everyone's been keeping well during this time. It's been a really, really tough one, I have to say, but um, fingers crossed we're, uh, we're past the peak of it now and uh, hopefully into better times. And uh, we're going to enjoy a morning's landscape photography, which has been much needed during this really tough lockdown. I'm really hoping this morning that uh, as the sun comes up, because we've got a small gap here, that it's going to absolutely illuminate these clouds just above it. And uh, if it doesn't, as I say, we've got some decent cloud behind me. And because we're on a jetty with two sort of um, similar sides to it, we can literally just spin around and hopefully nail a second shot here. There's also some beautiful boats uh, out on this particular harbour. And uh, hopefully with any luck, the light's going to come up and it's going to catch those boats and it should give us a decent image. Um, there's even a little bit of mist rolling around down here. It's probably going to go by the time sunrise happens but uh, at the moment fingers crossed for something to happen it looks good it's a funny venue this one it never used to be particularly popular but uh, over the past couple of years it's really seen a, a high number of uh, photographers come down and shoot it and it is now quite a difficult venue to uh, to get to yourself but today we're very very lucky it's completely to ourselves no one around and uh, hopefully as I say we've got some nice conditions and we might be able to capitalize on that and nail a decent shot I'm absolutely itching to get a shot today. It's one of those things when you haven't been for such a long time, you just literally can't wait. So uh, let's hope conditions really do us proud today and give us a nice trip. In terms of our shot today, we're gonna to do something slightly unusual. They're usually on somewhere like this with a nice flat horizon. I'd use a hard graduated filter, but uh, today, because we're gonna have the sun coming up, it's fairly clear and it's gonna reflect right off the water. What we're gonna try and do is use a soft grad and actually go past the horizon with it and uh, just uh, see how we get on. Hopefully it will just take out that, uh, that glare from the sun as it hits the water. But before the sun comes up, we'll probably use a hard grad for that particular shot. But as soon as it's up, bang, onto the soft grad, and hopefully we'll take out the, uh, the you know brightness just on the water there. It's just started to rain a little bit, which was uh, unexpected. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what's gonna happen. Hopefully it's just a very, very tiny little, uh, little squall coming over and uh, won't last. But um, yeah, it's typical. It's always the way, isn't it? Just as it's starting to look good, something happens, but uh, we're gonna persevere and we're gonna see if we can nail a shot. From experience, you know, I found in the past that uh, when you do get rain at sunrise or sunset, it has the potential to go absolutely crazy and really, really light up. So uh, all is not lost, we're holding on, could be very good still. One of the tactics we're trying to use this morning is the uh, arm of the jetty here. We're using it as a nice lead line to draw your focus into the scene as it zigzags through into the jetty itself and then out to uh, where the sunrise is happening. Should look really, really effective. And it's always nice to include a lead line if you can, because it just focuses the eye and it takes it where you want the viewer to look. 
But uh, there are a lot of boats around here and uh, they could make some very, very interesting shots once that sun comes up and the light gets on them, especially the ones that are just, uh, just in front of me here, which is behind uh, where we're shooting at the moment. If they catch, there's some good cloud behind them as well. So it should look really, really effective. So uh, it might be a case of suddenly rushing to switch around tactic again, just as the sun comes up. But uh, we'll have to see. There's only now about uh, seven or eight minutes until sun comes up and um, yeah, it's not looking as good as it did first of all, but um, this little spell of rain that we've had has, uh, has kind of sort of killed everything off. But uh, we're just going to have to wait and see, you know, how we get on and uh, what the conditions throw at us. But uh, I'm still very hopeful that we're going to get a nice bit of colour and, uh, and, you know, maybe a couple of interesting shots here. There's a strong possibility because of the uh, gap here and the strength of the light that's coming through that we might end up having to do an exposure blend. Um, I prefer not to if we can get away with it, but I think the, uh, the gap's going to be just too bright to uh, get away with using filters unless we went for something really, really strong and then it would unbalance the entire scene. Because you've got the reflection off the water here, that's why we're using this soft grad method to push into the water to try and eliminate that as well. If we go for a, uh, a hard grad and it's a really, really strong hard grad right above the top, the scene's gonna be unbalanced. The sky's gonna be uh, you know, nicely exposed, but the water right at the edge is gonna be quite bright and uh, it's really not gonna look right. I mean, obviously it's impossible for the, uh, the water to be a brighter color than the sky as such so uh, you know we have to be really really careful on our uh, on our picture and how we take it at the moment but um, it's shaping up there is definitely a little bit of color just starting to form out there so I'm going to start taking a few pictures and uh, see if we can nail one as you can see behind me, the sun's just starting to come up and it's looking really good. The cloud's caught, it's got some really nice colour, but we might be about to turn our attention to just behind us here because it's again really starting to look good there and uh, there's a possibility that this cloud might catch. So we really want to be uh, on our toes and see what we can nail. Just take a look behind me there. We've got some fantastic colour going in those clouds. We've got some beautiful reflections in the lake and we've got the jetty snaking off into the distance. It looks absolutely superb. And I'm fairly certain that we've nailed a reasonable shot today. It's been a great morning to come out. I'm so pleased we made it. We've changed our aperture now. We're shooting uh, from F11. We've gone up to F16 because what we're trying to do is get the zigzag of this jetty nice in focus and as well as the scene front to back sharpness. So uh, we've gone up to F16. Hopefully that will uh, help everything because we've got a nice mirror like surface. I'm not too worried about the exposure time on this one. It's all about just nailing that light, making sure we've got it absolutely spot on and our focus really, really sharp. Just take a look at that light behind me now. It's just catching on the jetty and the boats in the distance are starting to light up. There's even a very, very slight hint of a rainbow out there. It really is looking fantastic. We've had an amazing stroke of luck. We've just had a rainbow come out and I've just switched over to the 100-400 lens and we've cropped right in and we've get this uh, rainbow right by the boat just coming out. It looks superb. What an absolute result. That rainbow looks absolutely superb. I can't believe we've got so lucky. Just absolutely streaking across the sky. And it's a perfect composition for us. With that boat just there, it's just given us a shot out of absolutely nowhere. Brilliant morning. Some days, it just all goes right. It's rare, but it does happen. Today's one of those days. We've been treated to a spectacular sunrise. We've got some beautiful light in the opposite direction, and we got a rainbow as well. What a bonus. You just Days like this, they're just so rare, so few and far between that they absolutely mean the world to me. In terms of being a photographer and getting out at the moment, it does the world a good for your mind. I really believe it, you know, makes a massive, massive difference. And, uh, you know, I've been pretty, pretty down, to be honest, with uh, things in, in recent times. And uh, this has just absolutely brought me right back up to the top. That's the power of photography and what a good morning can do for you. I hope you guys have enjoyed Lake Pier today. I've really loved having you here. It's been a fantastic morning. I'm so pleased we've got some decent images out of it. I'll stick a few of them up. Let me know what you think in the comments. It'd be great to hear from you.
It's funny, you come here with a, uh, a scene in your mind and I you know, plan to shoot the sunrise, but uh, always in the back of my mind was switching around to uh, you know, shoot the other side because I felt the light might be better. And um, you know, this morning it's proved that that's exactly the way it's happened. And uh, yeah, again, it shows you that you just need to be flexible. Always pay attention to what's going on behind you. Read the conditions. If you've got something quite clear in front of you and some clouds behind you, chances are they're gonna light up, but never ever ignore that light when it's falling on the subject. It really makes all the difference and hopefully you'll see from the shots that they look uh, pretty reasonable on there and um, you know we've made the the sort of the best of this situation which is well it's been a really good one to be honest but uh, if we'd have continued trying to shoot into the sun there I don't think we'd have got a particularly good image because it was just too powerful and far too bright even with exposure blending or heavy filtration it just wouldn't have been the best shot available and uh, I think by turning around getting the light and this fantastic cloud and then of course that rainbow I think we've really capitalized on it and we've made the best of this session and I'm really Really, really pleased. It's been a fantastic morning. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Guys, can you do me a favor? Can you hit that like button if you've enjoyed today? It really does help the channel and uh, please do leave a comment. I love engaging with you guys. I love hearing what you've got to say and uh, yeah, just leave a comment in there. If you're not a subscriber, please do consider subscribing. Thanks ever so much for joining me today. Take care. I'll see you next time.